Number eight, the number eight turkey. Gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble. You know, you know who Jeff Bezos actually looks like the more you look at it? Kind of looks like Dr. Evil from Austin Powers. Kind of has a little bit of a resemblance, no? So, you might be saying, well, Jordan. Well, Jordan, why are you picking on Jeff Bezos, you know? He raised the minimum wage for his workers. Joseph says, new overlord of corporate America. And if you like, if you like the turkeys I'm giving you, feel free to leave some funds in the GoFundMe and the Super Chat. One person says, Jordan, all you do is talk about money. Hey, you try to start an online media company. It, ca- it costs money. If I, don't, if I don't ask for money, who's going to? I'd rather ask you for money than Jeff Bezos. That's for sure. So, we have Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos is, uh, you know, he raised the minimum wage. But also, what did that, he, he did it with a gun to his head from Bernie Sanders. So, let's, let's go to the videotape here. Amazon made $5.6 billion in profits last year and reportedly paid zero American dollars in federal taxes. Oh, the old story. Oh, the corporate welfare. Jeff Bezos is the richest person in the world with a personal net worth of $108 billion. In 2017, Bezos' company, the internet retail giant Amazon, reportedly took in $5.6 billion in U.S. profits. So how much did Amazon pay in income tax on that bounty? Hang on, we're getting some news. What? What's this? Amazon effectively paid $0 in federal income taxes in 2017. Oh, Amazon is projecting at seven projecting at $789 million windfall from the publican's tax bill, according to the Institute on Taxation and Economic Policy, which may have factored into its reason for withholding taxes this year. Bezos, like many other nominally liberal capitalists, that's for sure, claims to disagree with Donald Trump's policy while quietly lapping up the Republican's regressive tax breaks. You may be asking, how is this legal? Isn't Amazon an American company? Aren't companies required to pay federal income taxes? Hello? (laughs) You might be asking that. Well, Amazon's global headquarters is not in Seattle, but in the tiny landlocked nation of Luxembourg. Amazon employs more than 40,000 people in Seattle compared to 1,500 people in Luxembourg. Oh, the good old corporate offshore headquarters. The European Union has accused Luxembourg of giving illegal tax breaks to Amazon and has ordered the country to recover $295 million in back taxes from Amazon. Thank you, Dezan donated five bucks to the GoFundMe with the comment, slaying them, slaying them. I'm trying, I'm I'm trying, Dezan, with your help. So, as Matthew Gardner at the Institute, oh, I just wrote that, uh, Our provision for income taxes in 2017 was lower than in 2016, primarily due to excess tax benefits from stock-based compensation and the provisional favorable effect of the 2017 Tax Act, partially offset by an increase in the proportion of foreign losses for which we may not realize a tax benefit and audit-related developments. Jeff Bezos' obsession with avoiding taxes goes back to Amazon's inception. In 1995, Bezos originally wanted to build Amazon's U.S. headquarters on a Native American reservation near San Francisco because it offered a tax break. But California stopped the deal from going through. Hey, fuck the Native Americans. I'll build on their land. Now Bezos is looking to do the same thing all over again. Amazon is in the process of choosing another U.S. city for a second headquarters. This was before they just got that ridiculous corporate welfare on steroids deal from New York City and Northern Virginia. Personally, Bezos has also lagged behind ultra-rich guys like Bill Gates in establishing a charitable foundation to eventually redistribute his massive fortune. While he was given a relative pittance to charities in the past, there is no structure in place to help distribute his unthinkable wealth to people who badly need help. The notion of charity has Bezos so stumped that last summer he took to Twitter to ask his followers how to do philanthropy. 
Need I say more? Now, Jeff Bezos isn't the only social Darwinist, greedy, morally, cor- morally void plutocrat running around and destroying this country, but he does own, Amazon is now, I believe, if not the richest company in the world, one or two. He and Amazon have literally, the, the if you live in Seattle and Washington State, the homeless problem in Washington State has doubled because of Amazon. And the Seattle City Council, the Seattle City Council tried to push a modest tax, a modest tax on Amazon to pay for, you know, trying to invest and clear up the homeless problem. So that was what Prop 8 was supposed to do. Was it Prop 7 or Prop 8 in San Francisco? Oh, Jeff Bezos fought that till the deaths. He's like a gladiator in Game of Thrones when it comes to taxes or paying anything to help the very working people that he is causing to be homeless. And by the way, in New York City, they're already, now that Amazon is getting that sweetheart deal of billions of dollars in tax subsidies from me and other people if you're living in New York City right now, we're basically just giving our money so Jeff Bezos could buy another yacht. There's absolutely no need for the incentives for Amazon, not in, not in New York City and not in uh, North Virginia where the other Amazon headquarters is going. But, you know, doesn't matter. We need to incentivize the richest man on earth to grace us with his presence. And by the way, by the way, yes, he did raise the minimum wage for Amazon workers with a gun to his head. But if you follow the strikes that just happened in Europe the other day, the working conditions in Amazon are described in some places like the Hunger Games. Okay, so you're increasing the minimum wage, but you're still treating your workers like robots. Joseph Balin says, Jeff will soon be ruling the planet with his robot army. Truer words never spoken.